Welcome to YoungHollywood.com. What's up, Young Hollywood? It's Michelle Marie. I'm here with the DA and Max of Chester French. Now, you guys are setting a new standard for pop. You guys met at Harvard your freshman year. What was the first encounter like? He came up to me. He was like, hey, do you know that I'm like, I can read the future. Really? What would you tell him? That we were going to start a band and that our band was, was going to start playing shows and, and we were going to get paid cash money in American, American U.S. dollars, U.S. American, U.S.A., I know you have, you know, an instrumental background, you have the jazz background, you got the classical piano background, and you grew up as a performer. How did you guys bring this whole sound together? Well, pantomime was really the through thread. We were both huge fans of speaking with one's hands and with one's eyes. We triangulate in as many dimensions as possible. You guys remind me a lot of Pharrell. When I interviewed Pharrell, I asked him, If you guys can create a startup kit for a new musician, what would you guys put in it? Cherry Pop-Tarts. Cherry Pop-Tarts? Yeah. What about Cinnamon Toast Crunch? My favorite cereal. <laughs> What'd you guys eat this morning? Pop-Tarts. Cinnamon Toast. It's really I hope so. weird. I had sweet tarts and nerds. You guys are really eclectic. I like your style. You guys are breaking ground with your sound. We want to make music that's good and that it doesn't suck. So we wanted to do something awesome, you know? Awesome. You guys can pick one band from 10 years ago that did something awesome, like what you want to do. Who was it? Mm. Yeah, probably Mariah. Yeah. When she came out with Hero, I used to watch that on repeat and just sort of, and Pete, too, Pete and repeat. Let me see those glasses. These are like the stage glasses. You guys studied and played music and did all of this at once. How did you guys balance all of it? I hired for us a performance enhancement coach who really helped us take ourselves and our music and our bodies to the next level. The one thing we learned is that it's it's about both the weight and the reps. We had to have a strong athletic foundation, and so we're pumping. Like, you guys are pumping. You're ready to go. Pumping like five, six times a week. Well, I really love your story and your journey. You had attention from Pharrell, from Kanye, from Jermaine Dupri, all these different hip-hop artists, and that whole genre just really took a liking to your music. A lot of those guys, because they're so busy, don't get the time to that the, they want to devote to their bodies, and so we sort of can meet up with them, do like a stint. They get an opener and a trainer, we just come through, do it, knock it out. So what's the most that like Kanye can lift? Uh, he did each of us on a hand, yeah. No, he's really um, uh, recently. Well, She Loves Everybody is my favorite song right now. It's on my iPod in heavy rotation at the gym. Whatever I'm doing, I just love listening to the song. Well, we just put out the EP. We wanted to fatten it up and put some remixes on there. We got stuff on there by, by folks we really admire. LP, The Neptune, Steve Aoki. And it's kind of like a fun take on what we do with some people that you wouldn't expect us to work with. Hey, what's up, Young Hollywood? It's DA Max. We're Chester French. 